Hi, it's Michelle Tennant Nicholson, and this is a 10 minute cooking demo fast food from the farmer's market. I just, um, I just watched Fast Food Nation. Oh, it made me so upset. I was like, what can I eat? Clearly an emotional eater, right? I mean, I was, it, it's, a, it's not a documentary, it's an actual movie. I didn't know that watching it. And there were some personal relationships in there that uh, really were upsetting. But the most upsetting thing is, and I don't really eat fast food at all. I mean, I, I haven't been to had a fast food burger in years, you know. But I will never, ever, 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 <laughs> ever eat a burger or meat that I think that has come from an assembly line industry type situation. It's just gross. So what do you do instead, right? A lot of my friends, we were talking about genetically modified food and how gross our meat is and what do you do as the average person who wants to do right, especially if you have to save money. My one friend has um, five children, she's adopted two and she's like, well, what do I, what do I actually, you know, how can I save money Cause they, so, because it's so expensive. So I've got some, I'm going to do a 10 minute cooking demo so you can see how to do fast food quickly. I've, I've found some solutions on my own. Um, because I own two companies and I'm quite busy, so I thought, you know, sharing this with you might give you some ideas, and for sure, email me and or post on my YouTube channel some ideas that you have so that we can find inexpensive solutions to fast food in our own homes that are healthy and organic. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk to you about garbanzo beans. A lot of you might know garbanzo beans from hummus, um, or you may have never even heard of them. They're chickpeas, okay? And you can get them in a bag like this from the grocery store. And in fact, it'll be much cheaper if you get it in a bag. Take your bag, put it in a pot like this. The, like last night I did this. Do it at night. Fill it with a, about four cups of water. And then let, that, let the beans soak overnight. My dad had taught me how to do beans. Good job, Dad. Um, but then you just let that sit overnight. And then you pour the water off in the morning. You look for anything that might... Uh, be stones or whatever, you know, because it, they are beans. And then and you take about four cups of water and you slowly cook that on the stove. I basically worked all morning and just had it sitting on uh, medium to low, you know, with a toothpick, and this is glass and steel. Make sure that your, your cookware is also healthy. I just put the toothpick right in there and let that cook until the beans are tender. Now with this, I'm just going to keep this in mason jars in my refrigerator and then cook with them. I can do hummus. I can mix it with rice. And here's how you do rice, by the way. Um, I've got organic brown rice. I love a rice cooker. Try to get one that's healthy, though. Mine has nonstick, and, you know, I'm going to treat myself soon and buy one that's not nonstick, buy one that's maybe steel or a little healthier. For the time being, this is what I have. So one cup of rice to two cups of water, okay? So two cups of water, and then you're just going to plug it in, and that's going to be ready in a little bit. Again, put the leftovers in some mason jars, and I keep that in the fridge. If it's more, I date them with some masking tape so I know when I put them in the fridge, and then I throw them out. I use them, freeze them, or use them within uh, two weeks, okay? A lot of other things you don't want fresh food to go bad in your fridge. What's really great is any type of bean, brown rice, and tomatoes. Now, if you buy organic food in bulk, I'm going to plug this in real quick because I'm going to have that for dinner. So I'm plugging that in. See? I'm going to hit go. And then that rice is going to be ready in a little bit. But with, the, with this, um, I was just, you know, I'm going to have lunch, so... Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half a cup of garbanzo beans. Whoop! I <laughs> throw them all over. <laughs> half a cup of garbanzo beans, medium heat. I say medium to high heat. I don't have anything in the in the in my cast iron skillet. Okay, a half a cup of beans, and these don't have to be chickpeas. These can be any type of beans you want. It's good. And then I'm going to do whoop. A cup of tomatoes. This is just a large can of tomatoes, and if you buy in bulk, um, you can 
freeze the tomatoes in, you get mason jars, there are freezer ready mason jars so that you're freezing in glass rather than plastic or some aluminum or, God, isn't it, it's always something, right? So I'm going to take a cup of tomatoes, and honestly, this is, you can do with any bean. Beans, half a cup of beans, a cup of tomatoes, and then you can add your half a cup of rice. And then you add any type of seasoning that you would normally put on meat. I have, uh, I prefer curry when I'm dealing with tomatoes. I love the way tomatoes and curry. And you want to watch inside your seasoning to make sure it doesn't have weird ingredients like monosodium glutamate, which causes me, uh, I'm allergic to those types of things. Because, you know, I grew up in America. So I had antibiotics and all those wonderful things too, right? So be careful about that stuff. But I'm just going to be really generous. I like a, a strong flavor. So I'm going to be really generous with my seasonings. You can use fresh herbs. You can use um, some of the seasonings, you know, that you might find typical for your grilling, like whatever you're using on your grill. And you can just add that to the beans and the tomatoes. And then later you'll add your rice if you want to. Or just have the, you know, t for lunch, I'm just going to have the beans and the tomatoes. Um, I might have the rice for dinner. Another thing that you can do is add some broth to your beans. You can leave the tomatoes in there or not. And then you can make a soup. And then what's good with that is some cornbread. And we make organic cornbread in our cast iron skillet. It's really delicious. It's, it's not it's throw your ingredients together, put it in the oven, and it's ready in 15 minutes. So I hope that gives you some ideas on what to do for fast food that's healthy. And, you know, of course, all these ingredients you can get at your farmer's market or your local uh, health food co-op or go to your, uh, maybe get a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture. Try to support the local farmers in your area so that they can continue to provide us healthier food than what I'm going to now start calling assembly line food. And if I think it's coming from an assembly line, it's not going to go in my body. Gross. You need to go see that movie, Fast Food Nation. It, whew, I need to uh, go take a shower or something. It was really disturbing. But out of it comes something new and a new solution. So hope this has been helpful. Let me know what you think.